my name is Amanda and welcome to today's video where I will be sharing with you 10 of my favorite quilting tools. Now a lot of these tools you have seen before because I use them all the time and I rave on about them all the time so there's nothing here that's very new. There are actually a couple of things that I haven't shared with you before which I am loving at the moment but yeah a lot of the things you've already seen before so let's just get on with it. So the first tool that has made my list is actually a tool that I have only just recently started using and I love them and I have shared these before and that is quilting gloves. Oh that was that didn't really quite work. Quilting gloves. I only recently just started using these when I was quilting my quilt along quilt that you can see behind me and they literally just changed everything about quilting on my own. Although I feel a little bit silly wearing them, they are so good. They just grip the quilt so well and I'm able to feed the quilt through the machine so much easier than just with my bare hands. And I think if you haven't tried quilting gloves in your own quilting practice then I would definitely give them a go because they just change everything. They're just, they're awesome. Really, really good. The next couple of tools I'm going to show you are all by a brand that I absolutely love using. Their stuff is really great quality and I would definitely recommend checking them out and using them and that's Clover. Clover do awesome quilting tools. The first one that is an absolute favorite is this serrated tracing wheel. I use this when I'm doing foundation paper piecing and it helps to just perforate the paper so I can rip it away quicker at the end. By using this tool I just save so much time just getting the paper pieces prepped and ready to sew with and it just, I don't know, it just makes life so much easier when you're foundation paper piecing. Another tool that I love using for foundation paper piecing and is an absolute favourite of mine is the Clover Finger Presser. This is really great to use when you don't want to be using the iron all the time or when you need to be pressing seams a lot of the time, sort of like, you know, repeatedly. This pretty much does the job that you need for just simple basic pressing when you're doing foundation paper piecing and if you are doing any other sort of quilting where you don't really quite have the the space or the facilities to set up your iron and your ironing board it's I don't know it's just such a simple little tool that just makes quilting a lot easier. And the other clover tool that is an absolute favorite of mine is my clover hair marker. I use this all the time when I'm quilting now. Before I actually found out the awesomeness of what a hair marker does, I was just simply doing lines sort of like freehand, doing it by eye, and just sort of lining up everything with my foot. I found that by using a hair marker and scoring my lines on the top of the quilt, I've seen a huge difference in the quality in my quilting and just getting all of the lines really precise and really even and straight which is basically what you really want when you're straight line quilting. I find that this is actually really great just for marking any sort of lines that you need to follow on a quilt or when you're piecing. This would be really great when you're doing half square triangles when you want to mark the line down the center of your squares. So if you're struggling with straight line quilting or anything like that in your own quilting practice then maybe just check one of these out and see how you go with it. Another favorite tool of mine that I love using in my sewing room is actually one that I don't really share very much but I use a lot. I, I use this this thing like almost every single day and it is a tape measure. This particular one sits on my desk and I use this tape measure to just measure out all of my tutorials, making sure all of my measurements are correct um, and just sort of eyeballing up sizes of things of blocks and projects and things like that. The things that I love about this particular tape measure is that on one side it's in centimeters which I have been taught in school and then on the other side it's got big inches on the back and it has uh, like your quarter inch line well pretty much all of the inch lines that you need to have when you're quilting. The other thing that I love about this uh, particular tape measure is that it's three meters long. It's huge. So I'm able to use this when I want to measure out quilt backings or to see how big or how wide uh, a quilt top is so I can measure out how much batting and backing I need to do. For those of you playing along, three meters is just a little over 120 inches. So this thing is pretty big and it's just, it's just so 
helpful to have a ruler that is that big because I never make anything over three meters. I don't think I've ever made anything over three meters. That's pretty big. I mean, I don't think I've got the space for three meters. But anyway, I would definitely try and invest in a good tape measure. And yeah, I just, I absolutely love this thing. It's a definite favorite. So another quilting tool that is an absolute favorite of mine are these craft clips. These are just little binding clips that you put on the edges of your binding when you're sewing your binding to the back of your quilt. I have only just recently started using these in the past six months or so, and they are just brilliant. They are nifty little things that are just so nifty. <laughs> I don't know how else to really describe them. They are so much better than the uh, metal clips that I used to use before. Those were just, I don't know, they were just a little bit too big and clumsy, whereas these, they're really light and just, I don't know, easy to use. I definitely recommend for any new quilter to try and grab a few of these just to make life a little bit easier for you when you're finishing up your quilts or your wall hangings that have binding. I think you could also substitute pins for these as well, but I would only really do that when you feel confident in what you're doing. So yeah, definite favorite, these ones. The next quilting tool favorite on my list is my beautiful bright yellow iron. It is an Aliso Pro iron and it just makes just, it is just one of the most brilliant purchases I have made in my life. Now they are a little bit pricey but definitely, definitely worth the price. I definitely found a difference in using my Aliso iron compared to just a normal everyday iron. It just presses the seams out so much nicer and just so much more crisper as well. I quite like the touch feature that lifts the iron up once you're finished using it. It just makes the whole process of pressing your seams just so much easier and yeah just I just think it's such an awesome uh, tool to use and it is a definite favorite. Now the next tool that I'm going to show you is actually one of the most recent favorites that I have come across. I actually only purchased these a couple of weeks ago and I think they're just awesome. It was a really great discovery that I found at Ikea and they are trouser hanger things. I think that's what they're called. Trouser, they're, they're coat hangers but for trousers and when you uh, pull this bit back it opens up and on the inside it has a little bit of felt on either side and what you do is just put your quilt in the middle of it and then lock it into place. So instead of using the, the other trouser ones that have the little pressy things on the side, let me show you an example. Oh, come on. Man, I hate coat hangers. I just wanted one and they all come. So instead of having this one that has the little pressy things on the side here that sort of, they do leave marks on the quilt. They sort of crease it and stuff. This one just makes it, I don't know, just holds it so much better. Um, and doesn't crease it or anything like that. It's nice and soft on the quilt and this little hooky bit here also swivels Which is really great. So when you want to hang it up anywhere you have that ease to do so So yeah, I think if you love making quilts and hanging them up for Photography or even for blocks or anything like that then yeah grab some of these and they were really cheap They were like two dollars or something like that, which was just crazy uh, So I actually bought four because they're really great. So a definite favorite in the sewing room at the moment and I think a really great find. I don't know whether I'm the first one to discover this. I'm sure there's been someone else who has discovered them and used them for hanging up their quilts but it's a new discovery for me and it's very exciting. So the last two favorites that I have to share with you are both tools that I've shared with you numerous times before and I'm always raving on about them. Uh, the first one are my Fisker rotary blades. I always recommend Fisker Rotary Blah, it's so hard to say. I always recommend Fisker's Rotary Blades. I have to say it slowly. When I'm at work, I think they're just super, super easy to use. They're really light. The blades are very, very easy to change and they're very easy to use. I particularly like the classic sticks because you can easily retract and... Retract and what's the other word? You can just easily retract the blade in and out and yeah, they're just, I just think they're just really great 
great rotary blades to use. I use this size when I'm just doing everyday normal sort of cutting and then I use the smaller one when I'm doing little like cutting off little corners, doing um, curves and things like that. So these guys are a definite favourite and I will always, always love using Fiskars and will always uh, recommend them as well. And then for my last favourite quilting tool, again they are something that I rave on about all the time and that is So Easy Rulers. I have a whole pile here to share with you. Whoa! So it's no secret that I love So Easy Rulers. I say it all the time. I just particularly love the markings on them. They're just great for everything. This one is the ruler that I use all the time when I'm uh, cutting. It's in inches and it has all the different degree lines that you need on it. It has all of the different inch lines that you need on it. It's got a really great grid that I can follow. It's got quarter inch line uh, all around the edges which is just wonderful. And it's just a great length ruler for when I'm cutting when I'm cutting out all of the pieces that I need. Their square rulers are really, really great. I use the four and a half inch ruler for when I'm doing uh, half square triangles, when I'm trimming them up and stuff like that. It's really, really great. That one also too has the same degree lines on it and the quarter inch uh, markings around the edges as well. Then it also comes in a six and a half inch ruler and I think there's actually one bigger than this and I just don't have it. And then of course there's the Big Mama which is the 15 and a half inch square ruler which I actually haven't used yet because I don't often make 15 and a half inch square blocks but it's there if I need it. I think the reason why I love using So Easy stuff is because they're designed in Australia and I love promoting and sharing uh, Australian based products and I just I mean, it makes it even better that they're such they're such great products. I think they're just awesome. Definite favourite, guys. Definite favourite. And so with that, that brings me to the end of my 10 favourite quilting tools. Let me know some of the favourite quilting tools that you love to use. If you want, do the same as me and tell me 10 of your favourite quilting tools that you love. And you, you never know, you might recommend something to me and I might see it and think... Wow, I have never thought to use that and it will become one of my favourites. You never know. Now if you're new to my channel and would like to see more of the things that I do here, I do a lot of quilting and crafting things, I vlog, I do lifestyle stuff, I do a little bit of everything. But yeah, if you would like to see more of that then don't forget to subscribe, I would love to have you come and join us as we make beautiful things. And so with that friends, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye!